Hello everybody. Today is November the 29th, 2007. I'm up on the square of town in Ripley, Mississippi. This is uh this is my building here. It's a pretty good sized building. Go all the way back down there. We got a, got a basement down there. That fellow's blowing at me. That's down the sidewalk in front of everything. We'll zoom on over here. We got a courthouse sitting in the middle of the square. And we'll zoom in. We got a picture of old Robert D. Lee. All, all these towns got a picture of Robert D. Lee. But anyway, it's uh, about one o'clock in the afternoon and uh, pretty crowded up here for the afternoon. We're going in the store here. Notice I got a sign in front of it, no soliciting or loafers. Then I got another sign that says, this is not a bank, this is not a pawn shop. We do not lend money. I get tired of these damn people coming up here wanting to pawn something or borrow some money. Come on in, this is a, this is the office. Office here, we kind of run out of room. We got violins stored up in the front of the office. So got violins over here on this side. Each one of those boxes have uh, 10 violins in it. They sure do. Now, I'll take you through this operation here, but I want to let you know that I stress overhead. I'm a stickler for overhead. But right there's a big full size base. If somebody will come and get it, they can have it. Because I can't sell it. Don't even want to sell it. But this this is this is office uh, that's where I I sit to conjure up ideas. Right over here on the wall, I got a picture. I don't know if you can see that duck good right there or not, but that's uh, that's Doug Kershaw. He's got one of my fiddles in his hand. Uh, he's the guy that, uh, he's a, the raging Cajun fiddler. He, he sang Louisiana Man, a couple other things. This little girl right there has got one of her violins in my hand. She's from San Angelo, Texas. She had uh, brain cancer and was dying, and she wanted a violin, so I gave her a violin. I'm glad I did. She's passed on now. That desk right there is where Junior sits. I call him the boy. He sits over there and piddles around most all day long. Come on back here in the, in the warehouse. We got... Uh, we got violins galore back here. And then we got all these violins uh, in these racks back here put together, ready to ship out. We got Rothenbergs, we got Weimers, Canadian violins. Here's more violins over here on this side. Everywhere, more boxes of violins. And we'll come on back here. In the back, uh, we got, uh, these are flugel horns. That's kind of like a trumpet. Bunch of them. These boxes right here, we got trombones. Real good sounding trombones. Over here is our trumpet section. We got a good many trumpets we keep. Downstairs I've got guitars everywhere. Yeah, we got a kind of junky area up here, but anyway, I got body parts up here. Not the not real people's bodies, but bodies for guitars and 
like that. We sell uh, unfinished uh, bodies and necks. People put make and put their own guitars together. I got a uh, I got something here. I brought this back from Pecos, Texas. This box right here, Walter Holcomb. Let us have that in the settling the state. What it is is a bunch of old Playboy magazines he had. That's damn nice of him to turn those loose. Of course, I don't have any use for them anymore. All this is body parts right here, and we got a few drum sets over there. Etc. But now you can see the see the whole situation from right here. We'll keep our packing cartons over there with pack stuff in. This table right here. We pack everything up right here. Take it outside and ship it. Clarinets in those racks right there. A few more body parts, a few miscellaneous items. We'll we'll walk back up front now. Got some violins hanging on the wall. This one right here is a real, real old violin. It's got a real good sound to it. Rest of them are those Chinese violins. You get tar sitting on the stand. Right over here, are some <clears throat> returns people sent back to us. I don't know why they can't just keep them. Fix them theirself. Wouldn't be that much of a problem. Right up here is a plaque. It says "Remember Fay Reed." He's my dad. He's uh, he's uh, at the National High School Sports Hall of Fame. He's in the Delta State. Hall of Fame. He's in the Mississippi Coaches Hall of Fame. Several other things. He officiated for about 45 years. Picture of his old baseball team back in the early 50s. That little old fella right there. Was me, I didn't. I used to. Be the ball boy, chase fly balls now. There's a picture of uh, me and some of my buddies playing golf with uh, Jackie Sherrill. That's that's him right there, Jackie Sherrill, over in Tupelo, Mississippi. Now, this old building, I bought this thing from. My folks, I've had it for about 10 years. And like I say, uh, overhead, you can look, look, at the, look at the ceilings. Ceilings are kind of falling in a few places. We, we just, just frivolous spending to fix that up, I'd say. Got a bathroom in there. You got to be careful when you go in that bathroom. Something will get you. We'll walk up up these steps right here.
started making an apartment up here, but I backed out. Got a tree growing up up here. Got some old pictures. Empty rooms. Got a, a, a box over there. That's a casket. We got one left. Come up here. Stand up here and look. Look at everything going on uptown. Cars going by. Convict over there in that orange. And we just got John got a telescope up here. Keep up with everything going on. Got some old violins. Got one of those old phonograph machines. And a bunch of whatnots. Walk back down these stairs. That kind of creak. I guess you can hear that though, can't you? You need old uh, window air conditioners. We turn them on when the temperature outside gets over 95. Got a gas heater. We turn it on when the temperature gets over 35. I mean below 35. Got to save that money. We got cable TV. I didn't want it, but the boy wanted it. That's frivolous spending. Got a violin clock. Got some plants growing up there. It's, it's hard to get up there and water them, but we get up there and do it. Well, that's about all there is to see. We just try to live and let live. Like for anybody to come up here and visit, we'll give you a violin and a tour. But anyway, wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.